We know that stress, you know, sometimes we have stresses in this life, influence a state of mind and also everyone reacts differently to a stressful situation. Talking about stress, how do you alleviate stress? Do you have any certain activities or I do. therapy? Or I'd go things? to the gym. Wow. Yes, ah, I work hit out. the gym like, and you'll be fine. The more that the weights are heavier, then the more the stress I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> and there brings us to be out. But I want to do something that I think that I could do everywhere. Because like mm. working out, you need to go to like a specific place, right? You just can be in a gym. But I would love to like have a pen, like doodling. You were just saying mm -hmm. doodling. Have a book, have a pen, have a pencil, and then just start doodling and then like convey all my stress out. And then I'm just thinking, because I'm not a good um, I, I'm not good at. Uh, Do you have to be a good artist? No, right? I don't know, like good at drawing. Maybe? Well, I mean, then I'm gonna stress out with my doodles. <laughs> it's the same. If only artists can do doodling perfectly to, yeah. st you know, stay away the stress. How about what about us? Uh, no, we're not. Definitely. Why not give it a try? Right? Yeah, we'll try something new. Now, have you, everyone, right now, try to doodle art to relieve stress? It is scientifically proven to place your mind at ease. There are some ways to alleviate stress. One of them comes from doodling art. Recent studies have shown the cognitive benefits of doodling that can affect the brain. Doodling is known to help process emotions and calm the amygdala, which part of the brain that reduces stress. And I think we've been talking about doodling since the earlier, I mean, the early yeah. show, since the very beginning. So speaking of mental health doodles, let's have fun today with doodling. So have you tried doodling, Elliot? I did. I actually yeah. did try doodling and I love it. And especially doodling with coloring it. It's just like, yeah. especially in order. Right, right. There is a specific a book also now, right? Yes. Kind of give you that outline and just like color it too. Love. That's why today we're joined with mental health content creator, it won to know more about how doodling can help with our mental health. Hi, Hi. thank you so much for being here with, in our hello, studio. Hello, 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 Alia. Nice ah, to meet you guys. Nice, and nice to meet you. Me hello, too. everybody on the home, and yes. nice to meet you all. Oh my God, you're already giving positive <laughs> yeah. right now. I oh love my God, it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so, and first and foremost, what really does inspire? We're going to talk about you know the mental health because you're here as a mental health content creator. What does that mean? Okay, so. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself first. Of course, yes. My please. name is Irwan, or you can call me Wancha. I am a mental health content creator yeah. on Instagram at Wancha, W-A-N-T-J-A. Okay, and Wancha, like yeah. the old school yeah. spelling. Uh, yeah, yeah the old school spelling. Right. And, uh, you just can call me Wancha. I am a mental health content cre creator, especially on doodles. Okay. So I've been making doodles since 2020. Mm -hmm. So it's around three years ago. Right. And it started from the hobby of teaching. I am okay. formerly a tutor on an education startup platform. Right. And I feel that I I sparked the joy of myself when I created the educational doodles, especially on mental health. Right. So you don't have any art background, for example? No way. Oh. Can you guess where where uh, my bachelor degree? What psychology? is my bachelor degree? Not no, so. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not an uh, art. I'm not a designer, but I am. I came from microbiology, basic. Microbiology. <laughs> so basically, I am Probably a bachelor of science. He's drawing some ESC. nucleus <laughs> and wow. atoms and a little bit of cells of that is human. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you amazing. so much. Oh my god. Wow. So, so you yeah, want to know more about this doodling thing yes. because it looks okay. easy, and some right. people who is like me, very perfectionist, I want my doodle to look. Perfect. But I don't know if it's the perfect way <laughs> to, to, to relieve your stress. So how would you doodling, how would doodling or other creative activities help us to relieve stress? Mm -hmm. Especially okay. during difficult times. So when we do doodlings, we make something that from our emotions, from our minds, from our uh, brains, okay. that can be exposed into something that it's not abstract anymore, but we can ah. get its shape, we can get its voice, we can read it, we can write it and also we can fulfill it into a shape that we can use our senses to adore it. So you okay. want to ma materialize it. it. I mean, you yes. want to put it into a uh, realization, yes. Yes. like that. We can make a realization things of our minds and our maybe our problems, maybe our bad moods. Right. Yeah. So just doodle can also be wordings, like let's say the words yes. it, or just... It can be a mixture of words and also a, Lines and lines. shapes and right. colors, of course. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
So uh, let's take us through. If you're a basic on this, you're just jumping in. And you yes. want to, you know, you. I want Wancha to kind of, you know, guide me into this. I'm really stressful. I saw your Instagram and why not. What should I prepare if I want to start doing this doodling? Okay, so basically we just need one pen and also one paper, mm -hmm. if not a book. But okay. I would suggest you to get a book for doodling mm -hmm. because maybe if you use a book that is expensive or yeah. it's uh, already used for another purpose, mm -hmm. it will ruin your mood. Right. Mm -hmm. So I mean, right now there's also this kind of phenomena of journaling, right? Yes. For yes. mental health, people are like journaling. Mm -hmm. It's good for you. Do you think this is another way of a journaling? Of course. Mm -hmm. So I've learning about uh, uh, mood doodling. Yes. In outside in Pinterest, so I learned about how can we embrace our moods not just by writing it right. but also make some form of simple shifts right. simple form simple objects mm -hmm. that can also portray what our our mind w working and also our maybe our overthinking my yes. our Sometimes we do that. Anxiety on night, on, in the night, in the middle of the night. Based on your experiences though, maybe you have also a class to teach, right? Do they differ, uh, for example, somebody who's very stressed out and somebody who is very chill in mind and they doodle, what kind of differences can you actually um, notice? Uh, maybe first of all, I didn't have any classes or maybe uh, therapy because I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist, but mm -hmm. I do know that some people have a very strong bond with their trauma or maybe their problems from the past, the un unresolved problems from the past, they can, maybe a little bit, not, if not too much, they can portray it into the drawings. And sometimes we cannot understand what does the drawings mean. So yes. that person has to tell the story yeah. about it. Yes, but drawing. actually he or she can understand what... Only, yeah. per it's very personal. Yeah. So yeah. I can say that it's our doodling is, yeah. is <laughs> actually the doppelganger of ourselves, mm -hmm. right. but in another form. Mm -hmm. That's what I actually. That's what I ex express and what I you believe, to also. believe and yeah. feel it by well, myself. Well, talking about content abstract, creator, yeah. talking about content creator, I've seen this uh, on social media. There's this guy who is a doodler, uh -huh. and he has the whole house doodled. From the gate to the entrance to the <laughs> roof to the walls to everything to wow. the bed and everything. So, do you think there is other, um, you know, like other benefits from doodles ex um, okay. instead of only you know releasing stress? Yes. Uh, first of all, I look back as a teacher, as a former teacher. I learned that doodles can also emphasize the materials that we want to the students to understand, to make them easier to absorb the materials, the important ones, so they can connect the dots between one knowledge to another knowledge, so they can also expand it by themselves. Mm -hmm. Not, uh, for example, if you only read a textbook, maybe about physics or maybe chemistry, because I did it in my I know. school. <laughs> wow, I'm still so When we read it <laughs> without any figures or maybe without any explanations in terms of shapes or yes. maybe maybe mind maps, Yeah, yeah, yeah. it will be hard for us to understand. I it. agree with you because some people cannot really um, imagine it. They have to like sort of like draw it. If not in their imagination, if it's not possible, then they have to draw it like on the book or on a paper. It's yeah. kind of to cater their emotions, right? And sometimes yeah. it's just so hard for you to speak or to write yeah. yes. and then they convey it through like yeah. their drawings. It's not an abstract anymore. Yeah. Yes. Something that is... And we do, we do not want to uh, heavily transform the materials into our brain with writing so right. we can also touch the emotions a little bit right. by the... Because sometimes maybe. it's easier to do pictures, isn't it? I mean, with wordings, you kind of have to think about the word, but when yeah. you're trying to yeah. paint or doodle, so it seems it just it goes yeah. seamlessly. It's yeah. automatic how yes. you felt. And I, I think that we can also go with the visual because mm. if we just imply it on the writings, it, may, it maybe didn't intrigue our visual side of brain right so we can also make sure that we can learn it not just by reading it but also activate the other senses right not only eyes but also the hands yeah also the ears even though we can spell what we draw in yeah well, i mean one if you're kind of describing this 
this is also goes well also with paintings, right? Now, I mean, yes. when people painting, I guess they're going to what you have just described to us. So with that said though, what, what do you think, what you believe and how you feel in your experiences, a doodling is different than painting? Uh, I think painting is kind of a little bit intimidating for some people. Okay. Um, because yeah. uh, it's, it's different when you, when you ask people to do a doodle or maybe do a paint. Yes. <laughs> Please paint me some drawings. It, it has a little bit different because painting has a little more complicated, if not that much, right. because we have to layer the colors, we right. have to making some drafts, and also yes. we have to finalize it. But doodle is some... Even the tools. Like, yeah, right. even tools the tools are different. We, we need brushes, we need... Canvas. Canvas and yeah. And other things, and so on and so on. But actually, doodles is like a making drafts of paintings. Wow. Right. Well, if you tell Picasso to do a doodle, then it becomes a painting. Yeah, Still. it's the, bl it's the blueprint. Yeah, I think doodles the blueprint. Uh, doodles also need less experiences or skills yeah. or hard skills. So, right. Yeah, people all have emotions, right? Okay. Right. Can you tell a story yeah. about yourself then? If you and whenever or at one point maybe you had you know very stressful situation and then you do you did a doodle for example. Okay. When was it and what was it that you drew? Actually, I believe that I. <clears throat> I don't really have the basic painting skills, but I learn and learning by doing. Mm -hmm. My uh, some people might say that, but actually I feel kind of show who the truest color of myself mm -hmm. in the doodle. So I can also make something that is unrealistic become something realistic in our doodles, mm -hmm. in my doodles, and also uh, it's kind of satisfying to see that my doodles can help people. Mm -hmm. Actually, once. Once my uh, reader told me on my Instagram DM, yeah. uh, he told me that uh, his psychiatrist asked him to read my doodles on Instagram oh, to wow. help him understand what's going on in him. And it actually boosts my confidence. Um, of course. Sorry for flexing. Right? <laughs> of course. No, 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 no. Because again, I mean, that's what you become, right? And you know, even like now a psychologist refers to you. Mm -hmm. I'm into their patients and one uh, on like your friends. Yes. Yeah. Um, I just, I just wonder though, where this, who introduced Doodle to you, or did you uh, find it yourself? Hobby, right? Okay, hobby? it's a hobby. It started from uh, my basic of teaching because uh, once in a lifetime, in 2018, I started my career as a tutor okay. in English and not in biology. Okay, there you oh. go. A different, uh, it's, yeah, it's like I'm already. I'm quite a whole rounder, <laughs> right? And actually, I, I really learned that uh, if I teach English just by giving them some passages and also asking what is the first topic, the main topic of the paragraph, people will get bored, the students will get bored. Okay. And I think, how about, let's make some simple doodle about the story, oh, wow. so the people can understand. It's actually telling a story, you're yes. making a story through your doodle. Whether it's so a narrative it text, understand. or maybe a descriptive text, or maybe a procedural text, because I teach English for senior high, and okay. also I understand mm -hmm. that, okay, so if I make a figure, it's a simple figure that all only consists about maybe two or three mm -hmm. uh, images. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can help them to understand. Wow, this is very creative. I know, like and yeah. it can be applied not only just for mental health but also in teaching. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're definitely gonna show us or teach us, right? It's like, yeah. okay. once sure you're here, please do teach us, please. Okay, <laughs> I guess we can do simple do drinks. It's mm -hmm. called. Mood doodles. Oh, okay. we, we will do I'm some basic kidding. things, and you guys at the home, uh, whenever you watch this uh, uh -huh. session, you can also follow it by just by preparing one paper and also one ballpoint, yes. or maybe doodle or anything, uh, any uh, any stationery have, right. that you have. There you go. Simple as okay. that. All right. So that's gonna be after nice. the break, right? right. Yes. Okay. So yes. don't go anywhere because <laughs> we're gonna do more interesting stuff after the break. So stay tuned.